recipes I've shown you this is my original recipe okay I've made this up so yes this is mine this is the burger bomb now it does look like a lot of ingredients I'll admit that but it de the, the ingredients depend on what you want to put in your burger bomb okay the aim of the burger bomb is to stop all the messing about it's so easy to make a burger but people don't want to be messing around with it's alright frying the burger it's the things you have to do after that you have to put lettuce on top, your mustard on top, your ketchup on top it, it, put it in the bun and it's all messing about with things it takes you 10-15 minutes just to prepare it and by the time you've done that it's cold okay this is a way where you don't need any bread you don't need any lettuce, you don't need any mustard, you don't need ketchup, you don't need nothing. All you need is the burger. Because all the things you would put on a burger are in the burger. They're in the burger. So, let's get cracking. I'll show you as we go along what I'm going to do and what the ingredients are. This is going to be fantastic, trust me. This is the bomb. Okay, so the first thing we need is two eggs. Two eggs. Crack two eggs into a bowl, okay? Try not to get any eggshell in there because it can cause problems at a later date. Two eggs, that one doesn't look very good actually, but never mind, it'll work, it'll work. The egg is just to keep to keep all the ingredients together. Now if you didn't have all the if it was a normal burger you were making, you'd use one egg. But because I'm putting a lot of ingredients in. I'm going to need two eggs. So you've got two eggs. You need a pepper. Okay. Pepper to taste. Depends how much you like pepper really. If you don't like pepper, don't put much pepper in. In fact, you might, you might get away with not putting any pepper in. But I like pepper, so I'm putting a lot of pepper in. Uh, salt, one tablespoon. One, or is it teaspoon? Teaspoon, let's go with a teaspoon. One teaspoon of salt. And you've got to whisk that together now. I haven't got a whisk. I've not got a whisk. I, I tried to use a, a potato masher last time. It didn't work. Well, it was okay, but it didn't work properly. Today, I'm using a... I'm going to try one of these pizza cutters. You cut pizzas with them. But I thought it'll cut through egg yolks well. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to mix it all up. Right, that's your sticky, eggy, peppery, salty mix all finished. You can put that to one side for a bit. Then you need another bowl. I haven't got another bowl, so I'm using a casserole dish. It'll do just as well. And this is where it gets exciting. You basically put in whatever you want in a burger or on the exterior of a burger, okay? But one thing you have to put in is beef. It won't work without beef. It won't be a beef burger. It won't be one. Um, a British beef steak mince is what I've got. Now, it doesn't have to be British. You can use American. It'll just become an American burger, that's all. And I'm sure meat in all other countries will work just as well. It might be a different colour or size or shape. I don't know. But this is British beef. We'll stick that in there. Now that is uh, 450 grams, which I believe is about a pound. Okay, just over a pound. So you put your beef in there. It stinks. It really stinks at the moment. It might be a good idea to not be so close to it, but because I'm filming, I have to be. It's, ugh, it stinks. It stinks. Right. This is where we have the ingredients. Anything you want. Anything you want. Cheese. We all have cheese on us burgers. So I've got some cheese. Now this is in a tube form and it's with chives. 
chives, cheese and chives. So we'll put some cheese and chives in. The same amount as you'd as you'd have in four burgers because this is going to make four burgers. So that's as cheese in there. Tomato. Instead of ketchup, I'm using double concentrated tomato puree. Okay? So we'll put some of that in there. So you put some tomato sauce on, as I say, the amount you'd put on four burgers. That's done. It's all right, it's looking good already, isn't it? As you can see, it's it's already looking like a very nice burger. Um chilies. Now this isn't normal, but I like heat, I like hot things, so I'm going to throw some chilies into my burger. Stick some of them in. Lovely. Mustard. Again, heat. But we all have mustard on our burgers, don't we? So I'm going to throw some mustard in there. Very nice. Let's throw some peanut butter in there. Why not? That's that done. So easy. So easy. And I've still got loads left of chilies and mustard and peanut butter and tomato to make another batch. You can just keep making these all the time. Um... Right, golden breadcrumbs. You don't need baps or bread, uh, buns, whatever you want to call them. Just throw it into the burger. So here we go, golden breadcrumbs. Now it does say four tablespoons. But because we've got so many ingredients, I'm going to go for a few more. So let's stick them in. One, two, three, four. Alright, we'll go for six. Six in there. Now, I do have to state, I've not made this before, but I'm, I just know this is going to work. Corn. I'm going to put some corn in. Sweet corn, we call it in England. I don't know if you call it something different abroad. I don't know. Sweet corn. A bit of sweet corn in there. Not the water. Not the water. You don't want the water. Just the actual corn. There. Lovely. So there's some corn. Kidney beans. Kidney beans. Now, I don't know, kidney beans fried with burger. It just sounds good. It sounds as if it goes together to me. So I'm going to try some kidney beans in there. Very nice. Uh, ham. You know, people have bacon on top of the burgers. So I'm going to throw some ham on there as well. It's already smelling good. It's already coming on. Uh, potatoes. You need some potatoes in there. Um, how many? You don't have to have potatoes, but I am. So we've got potatoes. So that's it. I've got everything in there. The only things I've got left to put in are onions, lettuce and a bit of beetroot. Um, I'm just going to chop them up and I'll, I'll come back and add them all together. So I've chopped up the beetroot. And the lettuce, I say lettuce, it's not lettuce, it's mixed salad. Now, I bought this and it's very nice because it's got spinach in it, uh, baby green leaf, baby red leaf, rocket and lamb's lettuce. Now, I've never heard of lamb's lettuce. I didn't know lamb's even ate lettuce. But, yeah, you get that in a pack. And if you're lucky, go at the right time of day, you can get it reduced and get it cheap. So, I've got that. I've cut them all, all up. They can all go inside inside the mixture and now all we need is the onion so I'm going to cut an onion now you might remember now you're up now you're right oh, for God's sake. now you might remember in one of my previous uh, cooking recipes I advised if you're cooking if you're cutting an onion put a spoon in your mouth it stops you from crying I read it in on the internet somewhere so, put a spoon in your mouth, you won't cry. Just put it between your teeth. And cut away, cut your onion. You need one onion. This is how I cut an onion anyway. I don't know about you. I've remembered. It's meant to be a metal spoon. Well, it works better with a metal spoon. I wouldn't try, I wouldn't try the wood. Wooden spoon doesn't work very well. 
Try a metal spoon, yeah? <laughs> so that's all the onion cut up. Put that in the bowl with the other mixture. This is looking amazing. Absolutely amazing. So there you have it. That is your burger ingredients all in one bowl. So now you just have to mix it up. Now, how long for and what you use is entirely up to you. Because I'm putting potatoes in, this might take me a while. I, I don't know, an hour, two hours. So I'll mix this up. I'm going to use my hands personally. Um, but you can use other things. I'm sure pizza cutters, whatever you want to use, I'm sure it'll do the job. I'm going to use my hands, I'm going to squish this all together and I'll be back in an hour, two hours. I don't know, however long it takes me. I almost forgot, almost forgot. You've got to remember what you're going to have to drink with your burger. You know, so you need to add a bit of drink. I'm going to add a bit of uh, beer, because I, I like a beer with my burger. You can add coffee, tea. Uh, orange juice, you know, whatever you, whatever's your cider, whatever you like to drink really, put it in with it. There's no point messing about. This is the burger bomb. Everything is in the burger. No Once you're through half of the process, when you get it something like this, it's all mixed together quite well. At this stage you need to remember, can you remember what we made earlier with the eggs and the, the pepper and salt? This is the point where you need to add that. So we'll put that in there, make sure all the pepper comes out as well. There we go. And again, just another 40 minutes or however long it takes you to mix it together. Um, it, it does get a bit, uh, a bit sticky, but that's how you need it. You need it sticky. So there we have it guys, that's the finished product. Now all we need to do is make it into burger shaped balls, obviously. Now it did say four on the uh, recipe, but because of all the ingredients I've put in, I think I'm going to have a lot more than four here. That looks wonderful, wonderful. So I'm just going to put four or five of them on, a, on this baking tray. So I can put them in the fridge and have them later. That's the beauty of this. You can have it later. You don't have to be doing all this messing around. This is a 15 minute job. Put it in the fridge and they'll be okay for a couple of days. I've got food for a couple of days now. So, yeah, just leave me with it. I'm going to finish these off. And I'll come back to you at the frying stage. The frying stage. You can grill them. It takes about 7 minutes on each side under the grill or fried. But I think I'm going to fry these. So I'll be back in a moment. Look at that. Just look at that. That is heaven. Heaven. That's the bomb. Something I'd just like to point out. I've put oil in here and watch what happens. Just watch this oil now. Can you see that? Can you see how it's spread into the sides and there's no oil in the middle now? Can someone explain why that happens? I'd love to know. Right. So that's hot, that's ready. Now we need to put uh, a burger or two in. So I'm going to choose, I'll choose that nice big one there. Whoa, 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 calm down, whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. We'll stick that baby in. So we'll have one big one and one smaller one. And these take, as I said before, seven minutes on each side. I want to squash them down because I don't want any chance of it not cooking in the middle. So there we go. Two burgers on the go. I'll be back in ten minutes. Wow! And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Look at it. Burger bombs. Two burger bombs. Let's get them babies out. Serve them. They have to be served on a square plate. I've tried it on uh, round plates in the past, hasn't worked as well, so go for a uh, square plate. And there we have it, let's get this, these babies over to the table. God, I can't wait to eat this, they look gorgeous. So there we have it, there we have it. Burger bomb, burger bomb man. You don't need any bread, you don't need mayonnaise, ketchup, onions, 
You don't need all that. It's in the burger. It's in the burger. There's nothing else to do with that. You could, you just eat it as it is now. If you know, if 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 you've got uh, friends coming over and this is your main meal for you know for your dinner party, um, just add a bit of garnish. I'm I'm gonna use a pepper, a bit of egg, some onion, and some salad leaves, mixed salad leaves. There you go. That's all you need. That, my friends, is the best thing anyone could ever get served. I suppose we're going to have to try and taste it now. Let's see how it tastes. Let's see how it tastes. Woo! The bun's in the burger. So just use your fingers as you would with a normal burger. Here we go. I'm getting the nuttiness of the peanuts. I'm, 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 I'm getting the, the sogginess of the of the lettuce, the the heat of the chilies, it's all coming through, it's all coming through, the sharpness of the onion, it's just pure delight, pure delight in a bomb. I have invented the burger bomb. Make yourself a burger bomb. I want you to send me pictures of your burger bombs and I'll put them in my videos. Here's a few pictures of people who have sent me some of the things I made in my previous videos. Take a look at what they've made. Very good. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you give it a go. Um, and join me next time for more fascinating, interesting and beautiful recipes from Deep Fried Dan. Come on, dig in. Thank you for watching guys, please don't forget to click subscribe over there, if you want to see me other videos, click up there, if you want to see me other channel where I do metal detecting, click down there, and you've also got these four videos here, so thank you very much for watching, I'll see you all next time, bye bye!